hungry gulls hot on their tiny tails here. But the river, there's no need for any training. The ducklings are hardwired to swim. And like miniature submarines, dive under the water in search of food. But they can't afford to relax. Danger lurks everywhere. And being a cute, fluffy duckling is not going to persuade a bird of prey that you don't taste just as good as you look. In Finland, golden-eyed ducklings are hardwired to swim. But being a cute, fluffy duckling is not going to persuade a bird of prey that you don't taste just as good as you look. Luckily for the ducklings, this osprey prefers a more fishy feast. Many new arrivals have just weeks to prepare for a life on their own. But the bears have a somewhat easy ride when it comes to growing up. They can stay with their mother for up to three years before they outstay their welcome. This female is coming to the end of her motherly duties. Her twins are now old enough to head out on their own. But for now, a cool dip takes priority. Scandinavian summers spark a frenzy of flirting among the bears. And mom is ready to mate again. In fact, she already has her eye on a possible new special bear friend. After a little playing hard to get, she gives in to his persistent advances. With the formalities over, this male will think her cubs will be his. A while later, another male wanders into the sea. A little flirting results in another chance to mate. And she finds it hard to resist. It's a shrewd move for this female. Each male will think he is the father of next year's cubs and so won't attack them. And the more males she mates with, the safer her cubs will be. There really is safety in numbers. And her day doesn't stop there. A brief encounter in the bushes brings her tally to three.
It's been a busy day at the lake. Iceland, it's business as usual, with mom single-handedly raising her cubs. She's had a rough ride this year, bringing up the kids on her own, chasing off intruders. and constantly searching for food. <laughs> Some things never change. She heads out once again in search of more supplies. And once again, the cubs are left without a babysitter. And while mom's away, the kids are at play. But a familiar yet unwelcome face has returned. The cubs, sensing danger, race back to the shelter of their den. But a litter of five-week-old cubs are no match for a fully grown male. Turns, she's greeted only by silence and the smell of death. The race for life is never easy. The killer is still lurking nearby. Whatever his motives, the vixen must move on. Winter is on its way. Now, she must look after herself. With only weeks until the winter hits, Time is precious. Scandinavia's wildlife must make the most of these last days of plenty. It's the time when testosterone-fueled fights break out to decide the position of alpha male and the right to mate. With only weeks until the winter hits, it's the time when testosterone-fueled fights break out to decide the position of alpha male and the right to mate. The race for life isn't always harsh, brutal reality. There is a time when nature provides these animals with some mind-expanding experiences. 
and the fall reveals some of these psychedelic secrets. It's mushroom time, and here in Norway, some of these mushrooms are magic. Fly agaric mushrooms send anything that eats them into a natural high. Scandinavia's reindeer are particularly partial to a nibble on the trippy fungi, which are rumored to cause sensations of flying. Here, Santa and his magical sleigh may not be so far-fetched. While the reindeer soak up its happy effects, Scandinavia's prehistoric giants, the musk ox, just say no. Instead, they feast on the fall's less potent plant life. But the juicy grasses won't be around for long. In preparation for the winter, they must make their way back up the mountains, where they will face the worst it has to offer. But with their thick coats and full bellies, they're well prepared to meet the challenge. Life across Scandinavia begins to wind down. In the forests, brown bears get ready to hibernate for up to seven months. They will have to survive only on body fat stored up over these rewarding months. This mother and her three grown cubs feast on the remains of the less fortunate, a dead elk, and a last chance to indulge. The four smaller residents wait patiently for any leftovers. Nothing will go to waste. Like clockwork, winter returns, calling time on the unprepared. Scandinavia's wildlife knows the drill. Having survived their exhilarating and dangerous start in life, the barnacle geese have set off on their 1,500-mile journey south to escape the cold. Arctic foxes grow their new, thick winter fur coats. And the great gray owls will see out the long winter hunting in the snow. The land is once again locked under the cover of ice and snow. This year's race is run. <laughs> <laughs> 